Do you know all that you are putting into your body? Are you aware of your diet? Are you aware actually how sugar really, really affects you? We're going to talk about that and so much more today. We're going to tell you guys what the mass media doesn't want you to know on today's episode of Going Deeper. So welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health, to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host John Morris, the psychologist in training, the philosopher, the theologian, the business guy. And I am more importantly the guy that's going to help you get from where you are to where you want to be with step-by-step -step clear teaching and guidance. Folks, I am so excited. It is roasting in this studio this week. Uh, it is just insanely hot today, but I'm loving it and the weather is gorgeous. I'm really so thankful and so blessed for, for all that's going on. So, today we are talking about basically being really aware. What does it mean to be really aware as everything that's going in our mouth, everything that we are processing? I want to ask you a question. If you went to the store or if you went to the shops and you saw, you, you know, you, you saw a, a loaf of bread, for example, that said multigrain and you saw yogurt that said 25% reduced sugar, and you saw, I don't know, cheese that said, you know, 50% reduced fat. And you saw a ready meal that said, low in saturates. It was a green for goo. Would you think, my goodness, yes, everything, it's wonderful. Praise the Lord, I found healthy food. Or would you sit there and think, hmm, I maybe need to check the ingredients here and the levels. What is happening in our world right now, and, and again, I was guilty of this, both Katie and I was a little bit guilty of this, that we, were, we thought we were eating really, really healthy, and on the whole, I think we are. But we had a week where we deliberately kind of just changed things up a little bit. Laurie Bischoff, who's my business partner for Team Life Coaching, um, is also a holistic coach and insanely amazing on food and nutrition. So I'd been having a few problems in my shoulder. I you know, felt that I'd been losing muscle mass. My body was changing. There was a lot of stuff that was going on. And we wanted to look at my diet plus with colitis. You know, it was like, we want to see what's going on here. And the things that you think might be really good for you, like multi-grain bread or reduced sugar uh, yogurts or gosh, what else? Low-fat cheese. You might think, oh wow, I'm eating really healthy. You're actually not. Sorry to say. If you're sitting there eating ready meals and you're not aware of the ingredients that you put into your mouth, the ingredients is a really big thing. They're usually the first four ingredients that are there. So diluting juice, for example. In the States, you would call it um, almost like flavored water or watered flavorings or things. Um, Basically, where you buy the squash, you pour it into the glass, and it turns the nice color. Um, the majority of people have that day by day by day. And if they say, well, it's sugar-free, that means it's been replaced by a sugar substitute to give it that sweet taste. So, for example, if it isn't pure squash, then it isn't good for you. The best thing you can actually do is to drink water. Okay, and it's, it's uh, it, I personally, because again, I observe water from a spiritual point of view, um, which is a whole other topic for a whole other time. But I, I drink water from a glass bottle. I don't drink out of plastic, and I don't drink out of uh, certain containers and certain cartons, because again, when you're drinking out of plastic, you're actually putting the plastic, um, uh, the plastic molecules into your system. We try not to buy anything that has been wrapped in plastic. It's, it's, it's much harder in this day and age because everything is wrapped in plastic. But guess what? 
those fibers, those plastic fibers are actually going into your system. When you have that ready meal where you poke the holes in and you think, oh, I'm being really healthy here. It's uh, Weight Watchers own. Did you enjoy that? I don't know why I did that, but I'm in, I'm in a great mood today. Um, but when you poke that and say, oh, it's Weight Watchers, it's usually higher in salt, maybe higher in sugar, but also when you bung that in the microwave and you put that in there for four or five minutes, you're actually boiling the plastic that is then becoming part of your food. And you are ingesting plastic all the time. Do you see now why we're not as healthy as what we actually thought we were? So what can we do about this? Well, it's important to be aware, first and foremost, of what you're eating. And we're going to have Laurie Bischoff on the Mind, Body and Soul podcast again in a couple of weeks because we've got so much to talk about from a diet point of view, from a, a teen life coaching point of view. There's a lot of things that, that we're going to be talking about. Um, but what can we do about this right here, right now? Well, first thing is we can observe our diet. We can observe what we've going on. Um, if your BMI, your body mass index, uh, your fat count basically is really high, you need to do something about it. If you are taking in a lot of salt, you need to do something about it. If you're taking a lot of sugar, you need to do something about it. The best course of action is whole foods. And I'm just telling you what Laurie Bischoff has told me um, and what I have studied in the last couple of weeks in, and, and noticed in my own body, I feel more energetic. Um, so for example, you know, pe people will, will go from having pizza and chips for lunch to maybe having a chicken Caesar salad. You're getting your protein from the chicken, you're getting, you know, if, if, depending on the, the vegetables you're using and depending on the, the salad and other stuff that you're using, you're gonna be getting a lot of natural produce into your system that hasn't been boiled to death, that is full of nutrients. Remember that the less you cook something, the more nutritious it's gonna be. Now, that doesn't apply for meat. You need to cook meat, um, otherwise you can end up in a whole, you know, ray of trouble. But it's really important that we're actually really, I think the whole premise of going deeper and all the shows that I do is to help you guys and to teach you one thing, to be aware. To be aware of what's going on and what you're thinking about, what you're listening to and what you're eating and drinking. We will not drink fizzy juice now. Why? Because I was drinking lemonade for a while. It was sugar free, but it did have a spartamine in it that gave me headaches, that gave me severe back pains. That was part of the reason that we changed the set and why I'm sitting down a lot now. Now I've also got back pains because of the way that I've trained for years, 20 years in, in bodybuilding. You know, sometimes your body's just gonna have a few aches and pains. But when you are getting these things for no reason, then you gotta start saying to yourself, okay, what's going on? And it's gonna be a combination of things. It could be your thoughts and your mindset and what's going on there. It could be a diet and it could be what you're drinking. It could be your lifestyle as well. So I wanna encourage you this week to really examine what you're eating. And if we can be of any help to you, please do get in touch with us. Um, you can get in touch with us in the caption below because if you know this this stuff isn't easy just to turn around and change but you need to know what's of nutritional value and you need to know what's not so for example nuts uh, walnuts um uh, the uh, radish that's what i was trying to think of spring onions and cabbage and 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 all these different things are full of nutrients fresh fruit fresh veg is all full of nutrients um, probiotic yogurt small amounts maybe with honey low sugar is really, really, it's gonna be beneficial to you. Again, you want all the good, healthy bacteria that's there. If you're going and buying a certain branded yogurt, that is not good for you because it's full of sugar. Um, if you're going out and buying certain forms of cereal, you know, Weetabix, and, uh, sorry, uh, not Weetabix, Frosties, some forms of Weetabix, um, you know, again, the reason that you get tired after a big meal is because one of two things, that it hasn't been nutritionally beneficial for you and therefore your body is having to expend so much energy trying to digest the junk in which you've just taken in. As opposed to if you have a salad or you have chicken Caesar salad or you have soups or you know, uh, you know proteins and, and a balanced meal, your body's actually gonna do less work and your body will thank you for it a lot more. And when the, the, here, here's the kicker, for, folks, just before we wrap up. I know myself, I was raised for 21 years before I left home um, on a diet of sugar and very cheap processed produce, okay? 
Now, I would have jam sandwiches for lunch, I would have chocolate biscuits, I would have sweet drinks, I would have packets of crisps, and then I would have an apple. <laughs> that was my lunch pretty much every day for maybe 16 years, okay? And I love jam. Why do we love jam? Why do we love these sweet things? Well, simple, because we have been um, conditioned that way by these marketing companies, by these food companies, that when it's sweet and it tastes nice and it looks good and it smells good, that's all the senses, taste, look, smell, and maybe even it sounds good, we're gonna want more of it and we crave it. Have you ever sat there and said, oh, I crave a bit of chocolate? I crave a packet of crisps. What do you think that is? It's because there's chemicals inside it to make it look amazing. Fresh salmon I was learning the other day actually is gray. It's not particularly attractive. I mean, salmon is not an attractive fish, you know, when it's alive, never mind when it's dead. But it's then injected with paint dye to make it look more appealing. Huh. Why are more and more people getting allergic to salmon and fish? Could it be the dyes that are being injected into them? Now, how many of you honestly knew a lot of this stuff before we started today? I can tell you, before I learned it, I didn't. And I've been in bodybuilding for 20 odd years. You only know what you know. And if you don't know, you don't know actually what's harming you. You know, people, believe it or not, people are actually getting their fillings replaced because years ago they used to use mercury um, to fill the holes in your teeth. Now what's happening there is you're basically ingesting mercury every single day and night of your life. It's mercury poisoning. That's why so many Americans right now, all across the United States and probably across the world, are getting their fillings replaced. Over here in the UK, it, pro it probably is slightly different because, you know, we, we have to have certain things that are very much approved. But again, we have got to be aware of all the things that we are taking on, all the things that we're eating, all the things we're drinking, because if we're not, then we're going to end up killing ourselves. We're going to end up really, really ill just by being ignorant. So what I would be, encourage you to do is to make a food plan this week. Keep a, keep a journal of everything that you're eating. And then what I encourage you to do is, is list out how many grams of fat in it, how many grams of sugar in it, what are the ingredients that are there, and what can you do right now to start leveling things up? Maybe soups, maybe salads, maybe. It doesn't mean that you need to go completely nuts on all of this stuff, depending on how healthy you want to be. Um, but it does mean that we need to be aware. If you're severely overweight, if you're overweight full stop, have an awareness. And you don't say, oh, well, I'm overweight because of my genes. Your genes have something to do with it for sure. However, what more from the not it is, it's the junk that you're putting into your mouth. You know, I had someone the other month, uh, or the other week, in fact, that said to me, oh, you know, I'm just overweight, I'm just overweight. And I said, well, looking at your body type, you're actually, uh, I, think, I think she was a mesomorph, which is the, 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 the slender build. Um, that gains more muscle mass easily and struggles to put on weight. I said, so well, looking at your body structure from years ago and the photo that you sent me to, to what you are now, you, you're actually a mesomorph, um, if that's correct. You, you guys know which, which body type I'm talking about. Um, and I said, you know, I'm more interested to know what, what, what is your diet like? So we did a diet plan for a week. She showed me what it was. And every single day included Coke, which is pop, you know, soda, um, if you're in the United States, um, crisps, potato chips, and some form of sugary snack, whether it's a chocolate bar, whether it's a biscuit, whether it's, you know, whatever it is. And she'd done that for multiple years. Do you spot the correlation between being severely overweight and unhealthy and the junk that she was putting in her body? And again, you know, you only know what you know. You know, we, we, as in Katie and I, are trying to be a lot more healthy now because I want to get off my colitis medication. I want to cut the re and reduce inflammation into my body. And the only way I can do that is through my diet and through what we drink. Final thing, folks, that Laurie taught me. When you are taking on all that produce of sweets and crisps and biscuits and candy and, and you know, high sugary snacks and yogurts and, and whatever it might be, you are basically putting into your system acid. 
and disease thrives on acid. So if you've got colitis, for example, there is a very good chance, <laughs> or Crohn's disease, or have you noticed how, you know, the fact that the correlation between the amount of uh, autoimmune and inflammatory bowel diseases and conditions have occurred compared to how our diet has changed in the last 20 years, have you noticed how these two things are going together now? All makes sense, doesn't it? It did to us. So that would be my advice to you is to get a food plan, sit there, do, do it on your phone. Just be aware as to what you're eating, what you're drinking, balance it. It doesn't mean you never have a biscuit or you never have a sweet, but it might mean that you don't have it every single day, but you might replace it with a bit of fruit, whatever it might be. You say, well, I don't like fruit. Well, if you're looking to present your best self and you want to be alive and you want to enjoy life, you do what you need to do. Simple as that. And on that note, we're going to wrap up. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Going Deep. Hopefully it made sense to you guys. Um, and hopefully these are things that you're going to implement in your own life. Don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in their hour of need. And as always, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash mind, body, and soul. There's some great content there, some great coaching available for you that I think you're going to absolutely love. And... Uh, until next time, take care, God bless. I've been your host, John Morris, a psychologist in training, philosopher, theologian, and business guy. Ultimately helping you get from where you are to where you want to be with step-by-step -step instruction, reminding you balance is key. When we're in balance, amazing things can happen. When we're out of balance, all hell can break loose. Take care. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety, maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues, maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you, to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be in, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed, if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right. If you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that. And we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards. So if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one. Understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with
with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon